It's time now for Tiger Talk with Stan Stevens and head baseball coach Tony Edwards here on 1340 and 95.7 KSMO. Welcome to Tiger Talk. Stan Stevens and Coach Tony Edwards, coach of Salem Tigers, put on probably their best effort of the year as they defeated Kabul last Thursday. 6-1 to was a big win for the Tigers, big SCA win for the Tigers. Got some clutch hitting. Coach, you had to be pretty happy with that game. Yeah, Stan, very pleased. Um, you know, we talked the other day that, uh, you know, we were trying to find ways to manufacture a few runs here and there and uh, try to take advantage of runners left in scoring position, left on base, and uh, we've been struggling with that mm-hmm. up until Thursday. And uh, we did a good job of, you know, getting guys on and taking advantage of second, third, first, and second, moving runners and getting the big hits when we need it. Um, you know, it felt pretty good because, you know, it's something we've been lacking for a while. And, um, you know, we had another great uh, pitch performance by Bronson that kept sent the whole time. And, uh, you know, we allowed us to get the, the hits that we need to and, and just play good, fundamentally sound baseball. So, yeah, very pleased with the win uh, nonetheless. When you talk about fundamentally sound baseball, Tigers get a leadoff single by Trey Richter. He steals second. Caden Moody is a fly ball to right. Trey goes to third. A fly ball by Caden Dubois gets the run home. Coach, that's textbook, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's that's what you call um, situational hitting right there. That's something that we always try to, to pride ourselves in, um, you know, moving runners, um, you know, and uh, making the most of the situation. You know, they always say, you know, uh, baseball is, is a game of outs, but they're, you know, as a hitter, there are good outs in baseball. And, uh, you know, those sack flies, those bunts, those moving the runners across, um, you know, getting guys at third with less than two is, is a good out in, in any situation. So, yeah, very pleased with the effort uh, that the boys display Thursday. And it's good to have some of the younger guys coming through. Cash Howard in that fourth inning, he didn't crush the ball, but he put the ball in play, and it was spinning away from the shortstop, just glanced off his glove for an RBI single. Actually ended up being the game-winning hit. Coach, you, you got to feel good about that. He didn't try and pull it. He didn't, he didn't get all of it, but he got enough of it. Yeah, and that's, you know, you know, I've said that uh, from the beginning of the season. You know, we're, you know, we're compromised of uh, about 14 juniors and sophomores. So, you know, we're, we're going to have to ask those sophomores to, you know, try and step up and, and uh, you know, deliver those key hits when we need them or make that, uh, make that key throw across the diamond when, when it comes to. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to see uh, our younger guys being a part and, uh, you know, um, help, uh, you know, move the baseball a little bit and uh, got us a win. So, it was, uh, it was a good feeling to have, and uh, hopefully we can kind of continue with that here going forward. And, Coach, you're able to take advantage of obviously getting on base no matter how it is. You got uh, Owen Helms got hit by a pitch. You got forced out by Roy. A walk to Bronson Crocker before the Howard hit. Keep that inning going. And then, again, you look at the fifth inning after a single and a walk. They take out Caleb Graven, who I thought pitched a very good game. Only gave up three hits in the entire game. But he did walk four. And the Tigers made him pay with that double by Caden Dubois, bringing in both of those guys. Coach, you, you had to be very pleased with the patience of the Salem Tigers at the plate, but also going the other way when they need to. Yeah, that's uh, something we've been talking to the players about this whole last week is, um, you know, waiting for the right pitch. Um you know, let the game come to you and try not to do too much. Um, you know, I think so many of these kids, we talked about this the other day on the air, I believe, that, uh, you know, players have a tendency to try to get uh, too uptight, too wound, and they, and they try too hard sometimes. And I think sometimes you just got to take a deep breath, focus. And, you know, uh, you know, when a pitch is pitched on the outer half, you know, we always, the rule always for us is if it's pitch away, you hit away. And it's one of those things where, you know, you just got to, you know, take what the pitcher gives you and uh, go with the flow. And uh, we certainly did that. And, uh, you know, it's it's something we've been trying to practice, um, you know, is just focus on the fundamentals, focus on your swing, and uh, drive the baseball when needed. And uh, it showed. So very pleased with our effort on Thursday. You talked about the pitching. Bronson Crocker pitched a great game, a leadoff double in the third inning. He eventually came home to score in a ground out, but then he set down 15 guys in a row after that, Coach. That makes coaching easy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it certainly does. Bronson's, uh, you know, he's a gamer. Uh, and we got several kids like that that uh, – that uh, really do put out the effort that we're looking for. Uh, Bronson is one of those. He's our only senior, but I'm telling you, he's he's acting like a, a true senior for us. He, uh, you know, every time he steps on that hill, he, uh, you know, he wants the baseball and 
and he goes right after you. I mean, he doesn't uh, walk many guys, keeps the ball down, has a terrific, terrific curveball. And, uh, you know, and with his leadership that we're developing so far from him this year, it's kept us in ball games, and uh, couldn't be more proud of the senior that we've got in Bronson this season. And it's not like he faced a team that was one and five. This team was five and one coming into this game, and one and zero in the SCA. Coach, it was a badly needed win in the SCA for the Salem Tigers if you wanted to even compete for the championship, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kabul's got a good ball club, you know, and, and the teams that Bronson threw against, um, you know, are, are no slouches. I mean, you know, th- you know, you go out and you throw against Licking through a just a masterpiece against Licking, uh, who's probably going to be state ranked if they're not state ranked already, and. You know, you got a five and one Kabul team, and you know, I mean, and that's what Bronson. You know, that's what he's. That's what he's up for. He's up for the challenge, and uh, you know, with the experience that he's had over the last couple of years on this ball club, it's it's really starting to show. And uh, we couldn't be more proud of the situation uh, um, and the performance that he gave us on Thursday. Tigers going to be on the road this week. You'll be at Willow Springs tonight. You'll be at Thayer on Thursday. Both SCA games, coach. This is a big week for you. Yeah, you know, you talked about this the other day that, uh, you know, we, we're basically going to be stringing about uh, five or six conference games here in the next two weeks. So, yeah, it's going to be a grind. Uh, you know, it's one of these uh, situations where we got a lot of base- baseball to play here in the next two or three weeks, and uh, we're just going to take it uh, one game at a time and uh, see if we can't try to get on a run. You know, uh, we're definitely back in the conference race, um, you know, so – Hopefully we can uh, string some hits together against Willow, continue to play that uh, good baseball that we seen last Thursday against the Bears, and, and look forward to Thayer on Thursday. But, yeah, definitely one game at a time. So uh, tell us a little bit about Willow that, that you know, Coach. I mean, we've always had good success playing at Willow Springs, but you know what? Every game is a different game. Yeah, well, uh, Willow's, uh, they've got some guys coming back. Uh, you know, I think they got uh, four seniors or so. I'm not really certain. Uh, they got a new head coach. Uh, so they're, they've got some, some changes they're making, but, uh, Will is always a good ball club. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, you know, it's always, always going to find a way to put the ball in play. And, you know, their pitching's always, uh, you know, always give us fits, it seems like. So, uh, I know last year it was kind of a high scoring affair. Uh, I think it was like 20 to 10 or something. That I was don't nuts. Know, it was nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't expect that kind of a game today by far, but, uh, but yeah, anytime we go to Willow and, and they come to our place, it's uh, it's usually going to be a grind because they do a pretty good job putting the ball in play. And and the thing you can find out about Willow is is they never quit. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're down uh, two runs, one run, or ten runs. Uh, they're going to fight to the bitter end and. Um, we're going to have to match that today if we want to beat Willow. That's one thing that SCA schools, they just do, don't they? They just fight and fight and fight, don't they? Yes, absolutely. And, and that's the thing is, you know, you get out there and you're playing SCA baseball, and, you know, truly, I mean, it's it's anybody's game out there because, you know, you, and we'll talk about that next week when we play Mountain View. You know, we've always, you know, that's another team that you think that, you know, they can just sneak up on your heartbeat, and, you know, before you know it, they're going to put up five or six runs, and, you know, like Willows and, and, and those type of those type of teams that, I mean, it's just, it's a grind uh, in the SCA. It's, it's good competition, good baseball for sure, and um, looking forward to these uh, next couple of weeks for sure. So just so you can relive last year where it was 20-10, to 10, Salem got 13 hits. They got a total of, get this, 14 walks, and they had six guys hit by a pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one of those you definitely don't want to relive, you know. Uh, you know, it's kind of nice to get the runs that we got and the hits, but uh, yeah, it's one of those where I think that we're not going to see that kind of game today. Um, we're going to see, uh, you know, we're going to stick to our game plan with our pitching. We're going to throw, come at you and throw strike, keep the ball down, and, uh, you know, we'll hopefully try to limit the errors today and, and uh, see if we can't. Uh, you know, try to hit the baseball against the Will Springs Bears today. So we'll see. It should be a good matchup. Thank you, Coach. Stay tuned. We got Tiger baseball coming up next. Thanks, Coach. You bet. That has been Tiger Talk with Salem head baseball coach Tony Edwards. And now, Salem Tiger baseball on KSMO and KSMO Media. What's the fastest way for you to get yourself up to date on the latest in news, sports, weather, and obituaries that cost you absolutely nothing? It's Your World Today. Serving Salem and Dent County now for over 20 years, Your World Today is four pages of information that will take you about five minutes to read, and they're available in over 30-plus locations in Salem and in Bunker. Your World Today. Pick one up every weekday. They're free. 
Have you seen Town Screen yet? It's one of the most affordable ways to get your message out in the community. With strategically placed vertical screens in numerous locations in Salem, check it out at Advanced Chiropractic, Jet Tires and Auto, Salem Bowling Center, and Terrell's Complete Auto Care, just to name a few. Find out more about how you can use Town Screen for everything local. Stop by 800 South Main or call 636-338-1199. Hometown created and maintained. Town Screen in Salem. You're listening to Salem Tiger Baseball on KSMO AM 1340 and 95.7 and streaming on KSMORadio.com and our KSMO stream page on Facebook. Brought to you as a courtesy of K&H Auto Supply, Town and Country Bank, Salem Memorial Hospital, Salem Memorial Clinic, Farm Bureau Insurance, Country Mart, The Bank of Salem, Napa Mooney Auto Supply, Your World Today, Progressive Ozark Bank, Town Screen LLC, City of Salem, Town and Country Insurance, Tax Masters, Southwest Baptist University Salem Campus, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, Jadwin and Smith Auto Body, State Farm Insurance, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Salem Trust, Cuddy's Well Service and Plumbing LLC, Enrichment Services, Dent County Vet Clinic, Aligned by Design Chiropractic, and Hometown Mechanical. We welcome you to Willow Springs, Missouri. Stan Stevens along with you here as the Salem Tigers take on the Willow Springs Bears here at Willow on a partly cloudy afternoon. The sun is coming through right now. We've had some intermittent clouds. It's been a very, very comfortable afternoon. And the Salem Tigers will come in trying to get their second straight win in SCA play as they take on the Bears here. The Bears are in their burgundy tops with their gray pants, burgundy socks for the Salem Tigers. Gray pants, they're Carolina blue bottoms are their jerseys and the navy blue tops. And that's where we'll get started out. Trey Richter will come in to lead things off. He'll be at shortstop today. Caden Moody batting second will be in center. Caden Dubois will be batting third and pitching today for the Salem Tigers. Owen Hamilton will be in the cleanup spot playing first base. Cash Howard out right field. He'll be batting fifth. Hayden Sanders at catching, batting sixth. Roy Stevens at second base, batting seventh. Blake Edwards at third base, batting eighth. And it's Corby Ball out of left field. He'll be batting in the number nine slot. Traver, uh, Rogan Traver on the hill. The first pitch comes home. That's a curve in for a strike. His battery mate is Ryan Kohler. Train going by already. The first one of the day right at the start of the game. First next pitch comes in. That fastball's high and away. On the infield, we'll go over that here in just a second. And as Travers ready, here comes the pitch home. That's fastball again outside at first base, Luke Mansfield. At second base, it's Caden Fossiter. Shortstop, Ryan Frigga, and Jace Rogers at short. Pitch inside and low to curve. And out in the outfield, out in right field, Jordan Rutledge. In left field, Dustin Lures. And in center, it's Braxton Wilbanks. 3-1 to count. On Richter, leading it off here as the pitch comes in. High ball, four, leadoff walk. The first pitch is a strike. Four straight bat ones after that. And Caden Moody will stand in. Well, they cut the grass back toward the fence. They left it a little bit high on the infield. They have infield grass, so very similar to Salem does. The entire base paths are cut out like Salem. And the base lines, two first and third, they are covered in grass. So very similar to Salem Tiger Field. Moody Waits pitch comes home, and there's a high fly ball in the center field. Coming on and making the catch, that is Wilbanks. One down. Caden Dubois will stand in. Caden had a good game and had three RBIs in the last game. Sacrifice flying a two-run double. Richter, the short lead at first infield does not look all that soft right now. It doesn't look like they did a lot to chew it up a little bit. As the pitch does not made, it says throw to first base, and Richter is in easily. Pretty much straight away, they leave right center for Dubois. He's been hitting that slot here lately. Pitch comes home, and low and away, goes back to the 
Backstop, throw down to second base and retreating was Richter as the ball got past. The catcher, Ryan Kohler, came right back to him off the new wood they put down here a couple years back. Ball shot right back to him, and he was able to come up ready to throw. And Richter returned, and there's a high fly ball in the short center field. Coming on and making that catch, also Will Banks, quickly two down. Owen oh, Hamilton will stand in. So two fly outs to center. Will Banks. A lot of room out there down in right field. Jordan Rutledge playing right down the line. So a lot of big, big room out there in right center field for all right-handed hitters. Rogan Traver brings it home and a swing, check swing, but it went around anyway. It was Owen Hamilton. That's a strike. Ball was up high and tried to check his swing. Owen standing right up on top of that plate and up in the front part of the box. Quickly, Owen won. Two down. Pitch instead over to first base and back easily is Trey Richter. Richter had a couple of stolen bases last game against Kabul. Big hole on that right side where the first baseman is holding on Richter. That's Luke Mansfield. Pitch comes in. There's a hot shot in the right center field. And that's down. It goes to the fence. Richter is going to make the turn. He will score. And on his way in the second base with a double is Hamilton. Looked like from our angle that Braxton Wilbanks thought he was going to get that ball. And when he got near it, that ball hit and just took off. And an RBI double for Hamilton. He never really got all that close, but it looked like he had what I guess he thought was a good jump, but that ball tailed away from him, went down to the fence. Hamilton on second base with that RBI double, one nothing Salem for Cash Howard. He had that gap we were talking about. They left it open. It gets a ground ball up the middle, taken there by the shortstop to throw the first in time as Rogers throws out. Cash Howard, 6-3 on that put out. One run, one hit, a walk. He came around to score, and one man left. We have now played a half an inning at Salem 1. Willow coming to bat. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. It's finally here, a Cash Rewards Platinum credit card from Progressive Ozark Bank. You can earn 1% cash back on purchases with unlimited cash back. The card offers fraud monitoring, cell phone protection, and digital payments are accepted. Plus, increase your purchasing power with our Business Cash Rewards credit card. Enjoy a business credit card from your local community bank. It's easy to apply. Go to ProgressiveOzarkBank.com or pick up an application at Progressive Ozark Bank, 904 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. Member FDIC an equal housing lender where people matter. Hi, my name is Michelle Bland. I'm the new family nurse practitioner at SMDH Family Medicine. I will be providing family medical services for all ages. I'm now accepting new patients, so please call 729-8000 to make an appointment. SMDH Family Medicine is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Sale with a one nothing lead on the RBI double by Owen Hamilton. Don't forget cards and Rockies tonight. 6.45 at the pregame show or right after Tiger Baseball here, here on KSMO. Appreciate you being along with us. Great afternoon for baseball. Got the old sunglasses on. Need a cap. Didn't bring one. Thought it might be on the other side where you don't need the cap, but ended up on the side you do need the cap. Therefore, I get a nice, good, burnt forehead tomorrow, but that's that's okay. We will be, by the way, tomorrow at the Salem City Park for the Lady Tiger Licking Lady Wildcat game. That game gets underway at 5 o'clock. Don't forget, 5 o'clock start time on that one. It's the Tigers and the Wildcats on the girls' side. That'll be tomorrow, 5 o'clock, Salem City Park. That game was to be played at Licking, but they're undergoing some field renovations, and they're not done. So they moved that game to Salem. And we'll be there to bring it to you on KSMO Radio, AM 1340, FM 95.7. We'll also be bringing it to you on our KSMO video streams on KSMORadio.com, the KSMO Stream Facebook page. And our KSMO YouTube. Jace Rogers stands in from the right side. He'll lead it off against Caden Dubois. 
He'll be caught today by Hayden Sanders. The pitch comes in, a swing and a miss, one down and in. The boys wears number 12. We'll give you the defense as we go through here in this first inning. Rogers waits. The pitch comes in, a curve and a foul back. At first base, Owen Hamilton. At second base, Roy Stevens. Trey Richter at shortstop, and it's Blake Edwards down at third base. Out in the outfield and left, Corby Ball. Center field, it's Caden Moody. Right field, it's Cash Howard. The pitch comes home, swing and a foul back. Just got a piece of that one. Jace Rogers, multi-sport athlete. For the Bears, gets back in. Right-handed batter. Up on top of that plate, the way the kids like it today. The pitch comes in and a line drive, one hopper off Edwards' chest. He has it, though, to first base is by Hamilton. Goes to the fence. Nobody backing up as the right fielder now gets there. And it'll be an error, a hard error on Edwards. That ball was smoked. It came up and hit him in the chest. But he would have had him, but it'll be an error. And Rogers ends up in second base. Hamilton could knock it down. If you're going to throw it low, give him a good high hop so he can get to it. But this one was short hopped, and Owen couldn't dig it out. So Ryan Frigga stands in. Right-handed batter. The pitch comes in. Low and goes all the way back to the screen. Comes off to Sanders, but he dropped the ball. Sanders would have had a shot at Rodgers, but he dropped the ball. Reached for it, had it, dropped it. Very, very narrow area behind home plate here, Willow. Pitch comes in, a pop-up. On the infield, who wants it? Du Bois calls for it and makes the catch. Ryan Kohler will stand in. One out, runner at third base. An error and a wild pitch, got him there. Well, I'll tell you, Blake Edwards is going to have a mark on his chest from that hot shot. One hopped him, stayed in front of it, but then did not make the good throw. And there's a little chopper towards Richter. No play at home. Throws the first in time for the out. 6-3. The put out. And now they're going to peel the home plate umpire to see what he saw. And I think he said he's looking at third baseline. So, so the outstanding calls. So two down, run is in, 1-1 one, one our score. Rogan Traver at the plate. He's doing the pitching today. Where's number 13, a pitch from Du Bois. Fastball inside. Run for each side here in the first inning. Pitch to Traven. There's a fall ball hit foul down the third baseline and out of play. From our angle, we cannot see very far down the left field line. Directly down the line. We can see into straightaway left field and the rest of the field, but that left field corner, not viewable. Pitch comes in, a curve. That's inside for a strike right on the corner. One and two. Wade call. Taver did not agree. Slightly open stance. And the one two from Du Bois comes in. Another curve and a foul straight back. Still one and two. We're in the first inning. Each team with a run. Salem will walk and then two out double by Owen Hamilton. An air wild pitch and a ground out. That fastball's outside, two and two. For Salem in the second inning, it'll be Sanders, Stevens, Edwards. The pitch and the pop up. Let's we'll stay in play. It's over by the Salem dugout and out of play. Still two and two, two down. Caden Du Bois on the hill. Edwards a step in front of the bag at third, and the 2-2 pitch comes in. 
off the catcher's glove back to the screen as Sanders got boxed on that one. Just a little bit inside. Didn't turn the glove over and actually caught it off the heel. And three and two. The boy's ready. So is Traver. Here's the pitch. And a line drive into center field. Here comes Moody. He has to play it on a hop. Traver gets a base hit to center field. Cade got a good jump, but just couldn't get there. Played it safe. And a two-out single by Rogan Traver. Braxton Wilbanks will stand in. Braxton wears number 14. That'll be a pitch runner for him. So Cousin Smith will go in to run for Traver. There's a late swing, runner going, and no throw. And the batter did not get out of the way. The umpire started to make a call, but then backed off. Batter got in the way of Sanders. He did not throw. Had he tried to, I bet he would have been called out. And there's a line drive right at Stevens. Who makes the catch? Braxton Wilbanks lines out to Roy Stevens to end the inning. One run, one hit, one air, one left. We've played one. It's 1-1. One, one. Back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. There's a place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your Check out these spring specials at KH Auto Supply. You'll find True Fuel Pre Mix Two Cycle Fuel $749. Body Glove Seat Covers for $32.99. No Spill 5 Gallon Gas Can for $36.99. And a Carbon XT Lightning Cable Charger for $19.99. KH Auto Supply here in Salem. Park City. Yeah, Park City. Park City. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or a new boat, or a new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. A life event could qualify you for a discount. Call me, Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and we will make sure you have the coverage you need. 1-1 one, one our score as Aiden Sanders will come in. Aiden, right-handed batter of the Salem Tigers, doing the catching today. Stands in against Rogan Traver. Pitch to Sanders, up and in. Ball one with a fastball. Here at Willow Springs, they do have a bit of a backdrop here. It's painted, obviously, burgundy. Right over the center field fence. The pitch, there's a high foul out of play. Part of that may be because there's a lot of woods back there. A little bit hard to see coming out of that. So it gives the batter at least something to be able to gauge the depth. Here comes the pitch. Curveball and a swing and a miss. He just underneath that one. One and two. Traver ready. He gets the sign. He brings it up and in. Ryan Kohler doing the catching today for the Bears. Two and two to count. Sanders waits. Stevens is on deck. Here comes the pitch. And there's a high fly ball on the left center field. Hit pretty well. Going back near the fence and making the catch out in center field is Braxton Wilbanks. He's been a busy guy today. That's his third put up. Sanders hit that one well, but uh, about 15 feet, uh, 10 to 15 feet short. So Roy Stevens will stand in. Roy playing second base. Pitch comes to him, almost hit him. It curves in for a strike. Roy standing right on top of that plate. That curveball came right across his chest. Caught the inside edge. Strike one. Next one to Roy. Fastball outside. This one just missed. 
Kohler held it there for the umpire to take another look. He wasn't interested. The 1-1, one, one, fastball, strike two. This one right on the inside edge again. I know Roy didn't agree with it, but he's right on top of that plate. One and two, the count. Here it comes. There's a little pop fly right towards the shortstop, backs out, and makes the catch. Easy catch for Rogers, and there's two down. Blake Edwards will stand in. Where's number 13 for the Salem Tigers, also batting from the right side. Facing Rogan Traver, here comes. Curveball almost hit his bat, but it was over his head. All one. Always got to drop your bat in those situations. Ball can hit your bat and go fair, go foul. A ball that's behind you. Pitch comes in, a fastball for a strike. Blake taking all the way, one and one. Right in the batter, Edwards. All the way down to the bat handle. The pitch comes in. Tried to check his swing. He went around. One and two. Ball would be on deck. Nobody on two down here in the second inning. The pitch. Strike three call. Inside corner. Drop there by Kohler, but he throws the first for the out. K looking two, three on the put out. First strikeout. Of the day for Traver and the Salem Tigers go down in order one, two, three. We're now playing the inning and a half to the bottom of the second inning. We go Salem one, Willow one, back in one minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. At Country Mart in Salem, you'll find gluten free, organic, and diabetic products. They also have fresh produce, quality meats, a bakery, and a full service deli that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Have you joined the Country Mart E Club yet? You'll receive exclusive offers, weekly specials, and special sale items through your email. It's free to join, and for more information about the E Club, go to www.tcmarkets.com. It's just another service from Country Mart in Salem. Hi, Carrie Patton here from Town & Country Bank. We've got all the perks of a national bank, like online banking, quick loan approval, and you can even deposit your check from your phone. That's not why our customers love us, though. They love us because we still offer hometown customer service. Stop by one of our area locations and let our friendly team remind you how special hometown banking can be. Smart, friendly solutions. Town & Country Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. To the bottom of the second inning we go. Dustin Lures, Jordan Rutledge, and Luke Mansfield. That'll be the three up for the Bears to face Caden Dubois. Second inning of work. 1-1 one, one our score. Sanders ready to throw this one down. Pitch comes in and down a second it goes. Losing off the bottom of the second for the Bears, number 12, Justin Lures. Lures, long, lanky, right-handed guy. Where's number 12? Lures is playing left field today. Standing in against Caden Du Bois. First pitch coming in, up and in with a fastball. Lures deeper in the box than most. Pitch comes in high, 2-0. and oh. Not really super crowding the play, but close enough. Now Edge is a little closer, actually. Gets his hands right over the plate. There's a fastball in the outside corner for a strike. 2-1 to Caden Dubois. Scrapes a little bit on the mound here. It's a very narrow mound here at Willow. Pitch comes in a foul back, so it goes up very quickly and comes down very quickly. It's tapered down the front pretty well, but on the sides, it's like falling off a cliff. It goes down pretty quick. Two to the count. Here comes the pitch. Curve and a high pop-up. Owen Hamilton calls for it right at the bag, makes the catch. 
And Jordan Rutledge will stand in. Lures got underneath that one and just skied it straight up. Rutledge will bat to the right side as well. He is on top of the plate, up right in the front part of the plate as well. One down here in the second inning. Fastball first strike. Outside edge. Tiger straight away for this hitter. Do give him a little bit of right center. Pitch to Rutledge. Pile straight back. The boys just coming right at him with some fastballs here. Great afternoon for baseball. Part of the cloudy sky. He's got some intermittent peaking sun in and out. The 0-2. Low and away. Good scoop by Sanders. Tiger straight away infield and outfield, except maybe a little bit, just slightly to pull for Moody in center. The pitch comes in. It's in the dirt. It goes all the way back to the screen. Looks like Du Bois tried to throw an off-speed pitch, and it got away from him. Two and two, another train getting ready to come on by. Here's the train coming. Pitch comes home, and a swing and a miss. Did a little something off. Change out, first strikeout for Cade Dubois, and Luke Mansfield will stand in. Mansfield wears number nine. He's playing first base today. The D.H. Jacob Roberts is on deck. We're in the second inning. The pitch from Dubois, a swing and a miss. Salem in their third. I'll have Corby Ball in the top of the order. Traded in Richter and Kate Booty. Nothing shaking so far for the Bears here in the second. A pitch. That's a strike. Quickly 0-2. As you probably can hear the train are coming by. This is a busy little field out here with trains throughout the afternoon. The 0-2 comes home. Curve. Swing and a miss. Very defensive swing by Mansfield. He's down on strikes, two strikeouts in the inning for Du Bois, and down in order go the Bears. Say the one down in order, the Bears go down in order. We'll go to the third inning. It's still 1-1 back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Love your car savings is going on right now at Napa Auto Parts Store in Salem. You'll find Equus gauges and tubing kits starting at $7.29. Save up to 25% on select digital trailer brake controls, switches, and wiring connectors, and Napa full synthetic high mileage motor oil for $25.99 for the five quart size. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store at 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem today. Did you know that hand washing was the single most effective way to stay healthy? This is Deborah Hobson, Director of Infection Prevention, Employee Health and Education. Many diseases and conditions are spread by not washing hands with soap and clean running water. Germs can get into the body through the eyes, nose, and mouth. If you have any questions regarding proper hand washing techniques or infection prevention, give me a call at 729-6626 Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time we're getting ready for the third inning corby ball will lead things off here as rogan traver has one more warm-up pitch to throw he does very high and firing it down very high to second base is ryan Kohler. ball stand in he plays left field Corby getting the chance to hit today. Right hand to batter on top of the plate. Check swing foul goes back towards the girls softball game. Almost into that field. Tried to hold back. Ball hit the bat. Flew right over the fence. Pitch curve ball in for a strike. Corby wanted to pull the trigger. Just couldn't do it. Fairly shallow for him in the outfield. Straight away on the infield. The 0-2 comes home. Pop foul off to the right side. That does go out of play. Again, back towards the softball field, but not quite as far. Off-speed pitch. Got a piece of that. Still 0-2. Richter's on deck. 
The pitch comes to the ball, and there's a foul at the plate again. Another curveball. Got a piece of it. Sun right now behind some clouds. It's right down the right field line, moving to the west. Ball back in. Traver the sign. From Kohler, here comes strike three call. It's a good fastball. Second straight strikeout. Trey Richter stands in. Trey then walked and came around to score in the double by Owen Hamilton. Left-handed batter. Facing Reagan Traver. Here comes a late call high curve. Coach Edwards didn't like that call. Late call by the umpire. Oh, on the count of the pitch. Shot foul tip. Oh, and two. They tried to go to left field with that. They give him a big hole on that left side. Third baseman Frigga right down the line and almost even with the bag. Quickly, the 0-2 pitch comes in. Just outside. One and two to count. We're in the third inning. One one our score. Willow and Salem both scored in the first inning. Richter waits. Here it is. Fouls it back off to the left side. That's out of play. Still one and two. Salem will be at Thayer on Thursday to take on the Bobcats. Four thirty game time. We'll have that contest right here on KSMO Radio. Beautiful Thayer, Missouri. One and two, the count. Pitch comes to Richter. Foul tipped at the plate. Just got a piece of it. Foul that back off Kohler. A little slow to get back behind the plate. Twingles his fingers. Gives the sign. The one, two. Chopper towards second base. Richter gets by and will reach on the air. Richter makes it to first. The air, I'm going to have to say, was on the second baseman, Caden Fossiter. He got the ball. Wall was not hit very hard. And then he tried to, I don't think he ever really got a grip, and then tried to flip it to the first baseman. And Mansfield never got to it, so... We're going to give it to the second baseman, although that may not be the proper person to give the air to. From our angle, we had the umpire standing right there. Couldn't tell. Moody thought about the bunt, put on the first base, and back in is Richter. He got off as Moody squared around the bunt. Kohler fired down there. It fired it a little bit high, and Trey was able to get in. They're going to call it a strike on Moody. Said he did go around on the bunt. He won to Moody. And a pop fly in the right field. Going to carry out to the right fielder. And making that catch is Jordan Rutledge. Two down. Good idea. Good place to go. But he got up in the air. Actually, he probably hit it too well. Not playing very deep for Caden. So Du Bois will stand in. He flew out to center his first time. And scooted the right fielder over a little bit more toward right center. And they play straight away. The pitch. Du Bois hits one pretty well out to center again. Backing up, but still with plenty of room. Making that catch is Braxton Wilbanks. So the boys hit it pretty well to center, but again, not deep enough. Will Banks, still about 10, 15 feet from the track, makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, an error, one left. We've now played two and a half. To the bottom of the third we go. 1-1 one, one our score. We'll be back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball, KSMO Media. 
Terrell Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies, and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Terrell Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. They offer free pickup and delivery in town. Call 729-5761. James and Sheena and the staff of Terrell Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. With tax season fast approaching, you might have some questions that you need answered. If so, give the tax masters a call. They have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing. Don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Tax Masters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It will be Jacob Roberts, the DH, and then Chase Rogers and Ryan Friga to face Cade Du Bois. We are in the bottom of the third. 1-1 one, one our score. Yeah, Cards baseball coming up tonight from Colorado. 6.45 pregame show or right after Tiger baseball here on KSMO. So far, been a fairly fast-moving game. We'll be at home tomorrow, Salem City Park, for the Lady Tigers and Lady Wildcats. Pitch comes in, a pop-up, short center field. Moody calls for it, makes the catch. One pitch, one out. Chase Rogers stands in. He hit one off the chest of Blake Edwards and then reached on the air on the throw. By Blake, it got past Owen Hamilton, and then he went down to second base. He's got good speed. So we're tasked to play in at third. He even cheated in a little bit at second and short. Pitch comes in, a bunt. Right down the third base line with foul. Hayden Sanders is out there in a heartbeat. So said he's got good speed. Seen guys that can run like this just tap it past the pitcher, and they can usually beat it out. We'll see what Jace has in mind. A swing and a miss, late swing on that high fastball, 0 and 2. Friga is on deck. We're in the bottom of the third, 1 1. Two boys ready to pitch. Swing and a miss and a high fastball. His third strikeout. And Ryan Frigger will stand in. That's five in a row. Set down by Cade Dubois. Frigga popped out two Dubois back in the first inning. Straight up the chute. We're in the bottom of the third here at Willow Springs, Missouri. On an absolutely fantastic day for baseball. The pitch comes home. There's a chopper towards that one. By him in the left field for a base hit. Blake did not charge that ball, and it ate him up on the big hop. It'll be a base hit. That ruins the string of five in a row. A ball like that, you've got to charge it and catch it right as soon as it hits the grass and comes up. Otherwise, you don't know how high it's going to go, and that was kind of where Blake was caught in that Bermuda Triangle. Do I go in? Do I back up? And he chose wrong. Oh, and buy him into left field. Easy to say. you got to make that split decision, that split-second decision. In a heartbeat. Kohler stands in. Pitch low. Ball one. Kohler grounded out the shortest first time. He got the RBI to tie the game. Pitch. A little bit high. 2-0. Trying to keep it inside on Kohler. Right-handed batter. Stands in just a little bit off the plate. He waits. The sign from Sanders, the pitch, swing and a miss. Took a little something off that one, did Dubois. Kohler ready, so is Dubois. Checks the runner, the pitch, strike two on the outside, delayed steal, go to second base, and they say safe. 
So Friga on uh, delayed steal caught Sanders just off stride, and he gets the stolen base. Sanders is getting ready to throw it back to Dubois, and then Friga took off. 2-2 comes home. Curveball just missed inside. 3-2. and two. Sanders held it there, hoping to get the umpire to change his mind. Didn't work. The 3-2 pitch coming home, and there's a smash towards second. Stevens has it, though the first base is in time. 4-3 on the put out. No runs, a hit, no errors, one left. We have played three innings here. Willow Springs, our score. Salem, one. Willow, one. Back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. What are your plans for the future? Do you need a boost to generate a new plan or can't afford to go away to college? Or your work schedule won't allow you to go? Let Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, be the boost. SBU is committed to flexibility, expertise, and the state-of-art technology. We now offer two new associate's degrees in teaching and Christian ministries, along with master's degrees in education and business. For more information, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. You may call 573-729-7071. SBU Salem Campus is your higher education with Christian principles. In a world where everything is digital, your payments should be too. Time is precious. Digital payments provide a quick and simple way to make secure purchases. The Bank of Salem recognizes the need for digital payment convenience and is excited for you to enjoy a new way to pay. We now support Apple Pay, Google Pay, Fitbit, Garmin, and MasterPass. To enroll, call or stop by either Bank of Salem location today and let us help make your shopping experience easier. Message and data rates may apply. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Welcome back to Willow Springs. While Kohler was getting dressed, they had the uh, JV catcher come out and First two pitches were at his feet, and the next curveball he just gave up and went through the glove toward the dugout for Kohler. And so it was just kind of funny to watch him. He's like, okay, not this level yet. Owen Hammond will stand in. Owen doubled to right center field, drove in the only run for the Salem Tigers. That was back in the third. By the way, that's the only hit for the Salem Tigers. Drove in Trey Richter, who had walked, came around. Pitch coming in. High fastball up and in, ball one. Rogan Traver on the hill. Outfield still straight away for Hamilton. Pitch comes home, and there's a shot to the right side foul. Goes off of a building over there by the softball field. Might have been their dugout. One and one. Owen waits. The pitch comes home. Fastball. There's a smash into the court, into the hole. Base hit. Hamilton drives the left field. Oh, Hamilton got one down and in, and he got a base hit the left. And Cash Howard will stand in. Cash grounded the short. Where Rogers got the big high, was able to throw him out by a step. Big hole on the right side for Cash. If he can pull the ball, Hamilton with the short lead at first base. Being held on there by Luke Mansfield. The pitch comes home. Cash pops it foul. Well, not even foul. It's just down the third base line and caught there by the shortstop. And that'll be one out. Looks like it's going to go foul off the bat. It just stayed right down the line. Didn't get very high. And the shortstop, Rogers, able to take that one down. So one out. Hayden Sanders hit a fly to deep center. They play him to pull. The pitch comes in, and he hits a little fly in a short right center field. Going out and fighting the sun a little bit is the second baseman, and that's Forster, or Fawcetter, excuse me. So quickly two out here. And to the single, two pop-ups on the infield. 
And Roy Stevens will stand in. He popped up to second his first time. Hamilton at first. Two down now. Pitch comes home. Swing and a miss. Good fastball by Rogan Traver. In the fourth inning for the Bears. It'll be Traver. Braxton Wilbanks and Dustin Lures. Stevens asked for time. Back time. Pitch comes in, knocked down nicely by Cole on a ball in the dirt on the outside edge. Hamilton could not advance. One and one. Two down. Top of the fourth. One one score. Traver looks in, pitch to Stevens, high and tight. Two and one. Roy waits. He's been known to go to right field. See if he can do it here. Two one. There's a ground ball right up the middle, but right to Rogers. He has it and steps on second for the out. Stevens grinds out. Fielder's choice, six unassisted, forcing Hamilton, and that retires the side. No runs, a hit, no errors, and one man left. We've now played three and a half to the bottom of the fourth we go. 1-1 one, one our score. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Is your back continually giving you pain? Do you constantly have headaches? Do you have numbness or tingling in your arms, hands, legs, or feet? These are symptoms, and they're a warning sign from your body. And if you'd like to know why they're occurring, Dr. Amber Duncan of Duncan Chiropractic can help. Her mission is to find the cause of the problem and correct it. Give Dr. Amber Duncan a call at 729-2321 or stop by 401 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem. There's a lot to do at the newly renovated Salem City Park. Headlining the activities is the totally rejuvenated Alice Lou Craig Municipal Pool that offers visitors and residents of all ages a full day of fun. The park also includes a brand new splash pad adjacent to Billy's Playground, Salem's new all-accessible playground where children with different abilities can play together. The park has numerous ball fields as well as pavilions that are available to rent for private outings. For more information about the Salem City Park, visit the Salem Park and Recreation Facebook page online. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. 1-1 one, one score as Caden Dubois back to the hill. Hayden Sanders behind the plate. Tigers have Edwards at third. Trey Richter at second. Roy Stevens at, first, at, third, at second base. I'll get it right. Nolan Hamilton over at first. Cash Howard in right. Cade Moody out in center. And Corby Ball in left. Two hits in the game for the Bears. Two hits in the game for the Tigers. Pretty even game. Air on each team. And standing in is Traver and tries to bunt and it goes foul off the screen. Rogan tried to bunt that ball down the third base line and popped it up. Hit the screen right in front of some Salem fans down the sideline. They got to see that ball up close. Pitch comes in, a swing and a miss on a curve. Traver in the cleanup spot, singled his first time. Pitch. Strike three call outside corner. Du Bois with his fourth strikeout. So Braxton Wilbanks will stand in. He wears number 14, another right handed batter. All right handed batters for the Bears today. Du Bois with his fourth strikeout. Brings it. There's a line drive in the right center. That's trouble. That's going to get down and plug the gap. Getting over there as Cash Howard gets it in. But it'll be a double for Braxton Wilbanks. Nobody out in that area. That ball was a line drive out of the right center.
Dustin Lures will stand in. Man at second base, one down, third hit for the Bears. Edwards team with the bag at third, but off the line. Hamilton cheating in at first base. Expecting the bunt. Pitch to Lures, not bunting. Takes the strike on the outside corner. Hamilton still in on the grass. Lures popped out to first his first time. Pitch comes in in the dirt, knocked down by Sanders, who chased it down. Good job by Hayden. That ball bounced in front of him, and he was able to chase it down down the third base line. That prevented Braxton Wilbanks from moving on to third. Still just one down, the 1-1 one, one count. The pitch, swinging a foul on a high fastball. Lures went after it. Hamilton still in at first base. He should be backing up another couple of steps, though. The one-two count. Here it comes. Curve, and there's a grounder. Fair down the third base line. That's going to bring in a run and make it two to one. That ball just stayed fair. And Lures gets the RBI single. Two to one, Bears. Edwards couldn't get there. Ball was about a foot fair. Ball got it back in, but no way of getting Braxton. He scored easy. So Jordan Rutledge will stand in. He struck out his first time. So a double and a base hit here in the fourth. They're giving the Bears the lead. Rutledge stands in. The pitch comes home and swing and a miss. He struck out his first time. Two to one, Willow Springs. Rutledge back in the pitch. Up and in goes right off of his wrist. He is hit by the pitch. Hit by pitch. And that'll put runners at first and second with only one out. Du Bois tried to come up and in and ball. Hit Jordan Rutledge on the wrist. He's trying to shake it off. Well, he appears to be okay. If umpires want to see, they want to run for him, but he's good. So Rutledge down at first base. Lures now at second for Luke Mansfield, who struck out his first time. Still just one out. We're in the fourth inning to pitch. He bunts. That's a good bunt down the third base line. Du Bois bobbles it. There'll be a base hit. Cade came off and tried to put the ball, push it into his glove, and he missed it. And it'll be an infield single, and the bases are loaded with one out for Jacob Roberts. I would call the sacrifice an error, but I don't think Paul was bunted absolutely perfect on the third base line. I don't think Caden could have thrown him out. Time out, Tigers. So do boys who have been cruising until this inning got a strikeout of Traver and then Wilbanks doubled in the right center. A two hopper down the line. It just stayed fair for an RBI single. And Jordan Rutledge got hit on the wrist, and now an infield single on attempted sacrifice. And the bases are loaded with one down. Run already in, Salem down 2-1 to one here in the fourth inning. Coach Edwards out there talking over with his infield. Salem will look for two, preferably probably going home to first. Reminding everybody only one out. Don't forget about the infield fly rule. So they are going to play in at first and third. They're going to look for two up the middle. For Jacob Roberts, the pitch from Du Bois comes home. Up and in, almost hit him. One and oh the count. One down. Du Bois. The sign from Sanders, ready, nods, yes. Fastball outside corner, strike, one and one. 
Only one down. Roberts flew out to short centers first time. Waits. Brings it. Foul back and off to the right side out of play. One and two. Kane can use the strikeout here. He's got four of them in the game. One-out rally by the Bears. Generated a run here in the fourth. The pitch, and there's a fly ball in the center field. Coming on is is Moody. He makes the catch. The throw comes home, and not in time. Goes off of Sanders' glove, but no further advancement. He had to die for that. It was a dying quail in center. So a sacrifice fly makes it three to one. As Lures comes home. But nobody else advances. 3-1 our score as Rogers stands in. Rogers is reached in the air and struck out. Good job by Jacob Roberts just to make contact, and he almost got himself a base hit. And there's a grounder right to Edwards. Picks it up and steps on the bag to retire the side. Grounder to third. Fielder's choice, five unassisted as Rutledge is forced out to retire the side. Two runs on a total of three hits. No errors, two left. We've now played four. It's the Willow Springs Bears, three. The Salem Tigers, one. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Hi, this is Jimmy Bell, internal medicine nurse practitioner. I'm excited to be the new provider at Salem Memorial District Hospital Family Medicine. I'll be providing medical care for patients ages 18 and over. Please call 729-8000 to make an appointment. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and all private and other insurance. And at Salem Memorial District Hospital, always remember that it's all about the patient, every patient, every encounter, every time. This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies, allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, Licking, and Mountain Grove, and would welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard, located inside the Town & Country Bank, where you can call our office at 729-6624. To the top of the fifth we go. It will be Edwards balling in the top of the order for the Salem Tigers. Facing Rogan Traver. They have only two hits of the game. Edwards struck out his first time. Facing Rogan Traver here in the fifth. 3 1 Bears. The pitch, and there's a ground ball towards the hole. Knocked down off the glove of the third baseman. The throw to first is still in time to get him. By Blake Edwards. Blake Edwards kind of took a long route to first base. He was way down the, toward the Bears dugout and then came back. So I'm not quite sure if that was where the, his. Momentum from the end bat took him, but it's a couple extra steps, and he was out by about a half step. Corby Ball stands in. 5-3 on that put out. And a strike to Corby. Corby was called out on strikes after fouling off a number of pitches. Traver brings it. There's a line drive in the left center field. That's a base hit. Ball got one up, and he gets a base hit. Third hit of the day for the Tigers, and Trey Richter will stand in. Salem down by two. Trey has walked and scored, reached on an error. Big hole on that right side. Trey does like to pull it. They give him left center as well. They give him the right field line, too. They bunch him toward right center. The pitch. And a high pop-up on the infield, drifting out and making the catch. Second baseman, Foster. 
Well, Coach Edwards told him to go after a pitch they can handle, but we've seen a lot of pop-ups here today by Salem. So, Cart, Cade Moody stands in. Corby Ball at first base. Almost got those two intertwined there. Short lead by Corby to pitch. Moody takes a strike with a fastball. Still that big hole on the right side. Ball's got some speed. Traver brings it home. Low gets by the catcher. And ball down to second base on the wild pitch. Ball advances off of that. So a base hit could bring in a run. Not very deep for Cade Moody. A little bit deeper in right field. Center is shallow, so is left. One on one to count. Two down. Pitch from Traver. Coming home. Up and in for the strike is called right there on the inside edge. One and two. Caden didn't like the call, but he's right on top of that plate. Two down. Throw back to second. Fake throw to second, actually. Corby, not a very big lead down there. One and two to count. Two down. We're in the fifth inning. Three, one Bears. The pitch to Moody. Almost hit him. Right about shoulder high and inside. Backs him off two and two to count. Big hole on the left side as they try to keep ball close at second. The pitch just missed on a curveball. Traver wanted it. Didn't get it. Three and two. Two down. Moody waits. Rogan Traver, the sign from Kohler. He brings it. Oh, a fastball high. Moody is called out. Ball's a little bit high. He's called out on strikes to retire the side. No runs, a hit, no errors, a man left. We have now played four and a half to the bottom of the fifth we go. It's Willow three, Salem one back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Radio. Have you had a fender bender or crashed your vehicle? Come and see Jadwin and Smith Auto Body and Auto Care for all of your auto body needs. They have over 20 years of experience of putting vehicles back in mint condition. Take your vehicle to Jadwin and Smith Auto Body and Auto Care at 1202 West Simi Rivers Boulevard in Salem across from Walmart or call 729-3900. Locally owned by Tim and Wendy Smith. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust wants you to know they'll work directly with anyone. You don't need a contractor to use their services. Salem Trust can then use their modern engineering software to design and construct the quality trusses specific for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of their work does. Plus, Salem Trust is locally owned and operated. Open Monday through Friday. Call Salem Trust at 729-9276 for more information. To the bottom of the fifth we go. The Bears with a two-run lead, 3-1. to one. Caden Dubois back to the hill. He's given up five hits in the game, three of them coming in the fourth inning. A one-out double to Braxton Wilbanks. Dustin Lures followed with a base hit right down the third base line. Short rather hit by a pitch, and then Luke Mansfield with an infield bunt single. Before Jacob Roberts hit a little dying quail in the center that Cade Moody had to dive for. He caught the ball, but it ended up being a sacrifice fly before Rodgers grounded out on a fielder's choice to third. Standing in, the lead off is Ryan, uh, Ryan Friga, and he pops it up. Hamilton over by the fence. That one goes out of play. Quickly 0 and 1. Du Bois ready. So is Sanders. And a pitch to Frigate. Curve ball. Another pop up foul out of play. Got to find a new bunch of baseballs somewhere quickly. Quickly 0 and 2. Lead off man. Ryan Frigate will be followed by Ryan Kohler, then Rogan Traver. 
Pitch to Friga, and there's a ground ball right at Richter. He has on the big out, though the first is in time. Friga out by plenty, 6-3. He's 1-4-3 today. Standing in is Kohler, who has grounded the short, ground to the second. Boring number five stands in from the right side, waiting for Caden Dubois. Here comes curveball. He busts that ball down the third base line, getting it as Edwards. They'll never throw him out. Edwards waited for the big hop, but as soon as he stopped, no way on this grass infield, just like Salem, when that ball just dies up, it just checks. And then it becomes a base hit. So Rogan Traver stands in. He is singled. He is struck out. Runner first base, one out. Fastball high by Du Bois. So Kohler taking advantage of the grass infield here. As I mentioned, they cut it back toward the fence, but not on the field of play. Pitch is low and goes right by Sanders. It'll be a stolen base for Kohler. Sanders couldn't handle a pitch in the dirt as Kohler had taken off. So he's at second base. One out in scoring position and a pop-up back and out of play. Rogan Traver. Gets back in. Man at second base. The pitch. Up and in. 3-1. Braxton Wil- uh, Wilbanks on deck. That pitch, a swing and a foul tip. Caught by Sanders, 3-2. and two. Like Travers trying to go to right field. Pitch comes home and a foul off to the right side. Man at second base. That's Kohler. Traver at the plate. Du Bois checks. Brings it. Ground ball towards Edwards. Looks the man back at second. Throw to first in time. No return throw to third. Blake did everything he could right that time. The color still able to advance. The only way it would have been is if Stevens got behind him, but he was playing too deep and up the middle. And any further hesitation by Edwards would allow the runner to reach. So two down, runner third, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Off speed curveball. One of the better ones by Du Bois today had Braxton Wilbanks way out in front. Good stop by Sanders on that one down in the dirt. 0 and 1. Pitch comes home. Fastball for strike. Quickly 0 and 2. Over at third, two down, three one Bears. The pitch comes home and a pop fly in the short right field. That's trouble. It's going to fall for a base hit to make it four to one. Will Banks just put the bat out and just popped that one. Stevens hesitated. I'm not sure he could have got it anyway, but that little hesitation, there was no way he's going to catch that ball at that point. And Cash Howard couldn't get to it. An RBI single. Four to one Bears. There, Dustin Lures will stand in. He grounded one just inside the bag at third for an RBI single back in the fourth inning. Pitch comes home, a high and tight ball one. Well, the Tigers are getting anybody warmed up. It looks like Caden's about running out of gas here in this fifth inning. Pitch comes in. There's a foul back. 1-1. Lewis showed bunt. Try and draw somebody in. Didn't work. One run in the first for each team, and the Bears got two in the fourth. They've had one here in the fifth. Pitch from Du Bois. Curveball inside to the second base, and he called a runner safe. 
Richter put the tag down. Base umpire got over there and called him safe. Good throw by Sanders. It was right there. It looked like Richter had to throw down. Salem did not get the call. 2-1 to count. The pitch from Du Bois. Pop-up foul back. It's out of play. 2-2. Salem in their sixth inning. We'll have Du Bois, Hamilton, and Howard. They're going to need some runs. Quick. The pitch comes home and a high fly ball to left center field over his Moody. He's there and he makes the catch. Lure flies out to center. One run, two hits, no errors, and there was a man left. We've now played five. Four to one. Bears will come back in one minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Life is a series of moments. Big moments, small moments, moments you want to bottle up so they can last forever. At Edward Jones, we want to make the most of all of them. Whether you're planning for a trip of a lifetime, retirement, or just need some everyday advice along the way, that's why an Edward Jones financial advisor like me works with you to build strategies for today and tomorrow. Life is for living. Let's partner through all of it. I'm Edward Jones financial advisor Leah Nash. Call me or Drew Brand at Edward Jones, 573-729-3831. Edward Jones, member SI. PC. Cuddy's Well Service and Plumbing LLC in Salem provides well pump repairs to existing wells and pump installations in new wells. In addition, they can handle all of your plumbing needs. They can also provide backhoe and dump truck services. Need Creek Rock or White Rock delivered? Give Cuddy's Well Service a call at 729-2787. Cuddy's is a proud supporter of Salem Tiger Athletics and all of the students in Salem and Dent County. To the sixth inning we go. Salem needs a field goal to tie it up. Caden Du Bois will stand in. He can't do it by himself, though. Different sport. Caden has flown out twice, fairly deep to center both times, but both were outs. Tigers only have six outs to play with. They need four, three runs to tie. And there's a high fly ball and a Right center field. Getting over there and making that catch is Will Banks. So the boys got that one really high in the air. And Hamilton will stand in. He's two for two with a double to right center and a base hit to left. He's got two of the three Salem Tiger hits in the game. Willow Springs with seven hits in the game. Curveball in for a strike. Dropping down almost sidearm that time was Rogan Traver. Straight away for Hamilton as the pitch comes home. Pop fly right side near the dugout and out of play. Tigers need a rally with some bats. Rogan Traver has done a good job. 0-2 to Hamilton. Swing and a miss. Good high hard fastball. He blew it by him. His fourth strikeout. And Cash Howard will stand in. Number 19, Cash Howard. Cash Howard grounded out to shortstop his first time, then popped to short. Young man stands in for the left side. Tigers with two left-handed batters in their lineup. Strike on the outside corner. Cash waits. Traver brings it. Sidearm, a swing and a miss. Ball cutting in on side on the inside corner on him. Right in on the hands. We're in the sixth inning. Nothing shaking for the Tigers. Two down. The pitch comes home. There's a smash right at the first baseman. Off his knee. And Howard's going to reach. I'm going to give him a base hit on that one. That ball was smoked. Mansfield tried to stay in front of it. That ball hit him right in the knee. 
right off to the edge of the side of the knee and then went towards second base. So Hayden Sanders will stand in. Four to one, Bears. Ash crushed that ball right at Mansfield. He tried to stay in front of it, but that ball got him good. Pitch to Sanders. Held up on the slow curve. Hayden back in. Big hole on the right side. Second baseman Fossiter scoots, scoots over just a little bit. The pitch, chopper toward third. Picked up there. The throw to first base is not in time. Hayden beats it out. Ryan Frigga got him softly hit, and Hayden beat it out. It's an infield single, and Roy Stevens stands in. He's the tying run at the plate. Sanders will check out. Coming in is Landon Richter. Two hits here in the sixth inning. Stevens, who's reached on a fielder's choice and popped out. Tigers need a two-out hit to keep the rally going. The pitch comes home. Fastball outside corner, first strike. First baseman behind the runner first, but still right down the first base line. So there's room on that right side. Traver checks the runners, first and second. Throws the second base low. And no play as the shortstop Rogers knocks it down. I think Howard was all of seven feet away from the bag. Had no trouble getting back. Big hole on the left side, too, at Rogers trying to keep the man close at second. Pitch to Stevens, and he fouls it right at the plate, and it's 0 2. A lot of room on both sides of the infield with the runners trying to be kept close. Traver looking for the sign, and now Stevens backs out. He gets back in. Sign from Kohler. The pitch. There's a grounder towards third. Knocked down, picked up, no play. That'll be an error on Frigga, and the bases are loaded for Blake Edwards. Base is loaded for Blake Edwards. Now Wyatt Martin's going to hit for Edwards. So Wyatt Martin here in the top of the six will hit for Blake Edwards. He's the lead run. Tigers looking for some pop here. Base is loaded, two down. All started with two outs. Traver brings it, swing and a miss. At third base, it's Cash Howard. At second, it's Landon Richter. At first base, Roy Stevens. Good speed on the bases. Martin waits. Pitch, swing and a miss. Ball gets away, but no advancement. And it's quickly 0-2. Tigers need a hit. Martin stands in. The 0-2 from Traver outside with a fastball. 1-2. and two. Wyatt waits. Traver looks, brings it. Curveball, strike three call. He could not pull the trigger. He's called out on strikes. And the Tigers get no runs on two hits, an error, three left. They've now played five and a half. To the bottom of the sixth inning we go. It's the Bears four, Salem Tigers one. We'll come back in one minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. 
Have you heard our big news? Progressive Ozark Bank was named in the top 20 of all banks nationwide for services to farm and agriculture in 2022 by the ICBA. No other bank in our region made the list. As a matter of fact, only two other banks in all of Missouri are named. We are so humbled and proud to know we did more for local farm and ranch families than any other banks around. Farm families are at the heart of what we do and who we are, and you can trust that we will continue to be there for you. Progressive Ozark Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender, where people matter. Enrichment Services of Dent County is a nonprofit agency providing rehabilitative services to individuals with developmental disabilities or functional impairments. They offer a variety of programs tailored to fit the various needs of local citizens, from adult daycare for social and recreational needs to in-home health care for those disabled or medically fragile clients. For more information about the services they provide, call Director Tanya Newman at 729-727. Nine. So some lineup changes as Corby Ball will come in. Take over for Caden Dubois, who went five innings. He ended up giving up seven hits, a total of four runs. All four were, well, three of the four were earned. As far as Caden did not walk anybody, that's always a key. But he did hit a man. And he did strike out a total in the game of four batters. So Kobe Ball will come on here in the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be Carson Barrett to go to left field, and Du Bois will move to third. Everything else will stay the same. Tigers had a good chance there in the sixth inning. Two-out rally, a base hit by Howard. Sanders got an infield singles. He beat out the tapper to third. Stevens reached on the error by the third baseman, Ryan Friggan. But Wyatt Martin, pinch hitting, struck out. For the Bears, it'll be the bottom three in the order. Jordan Rutledge, Luke Mansfield, and Jacob Roberts. Standing in, swing and a miss is Rutledge. Young man stands in for the right side. Pitch from ball. Took his little something off and he fouled it off. Quickly 0 and 2. A base hit by Braxton Wilbanks in that fifth inning brought a run home with two down. Make it 4 to 1. And a high fly ball down the left field line. Bear it over there that way. That ball's a foul ball and out of play. Baird gave it a good chase. That's out of our sight line. Standing back in is Rutledge, and the pitch comes home. Curveball in the dirt. One and two. Corby Ball taking over for Du Bois. One and two comes home in the dirt again. Quickly two and two. Almost like a straight change. Came up short. Sign from Sanders. Ball's ready. And the pitch. A pop fly back out of play. Still 2-2, two two, nobody down. We are in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pitch from ball, strike three call. Nice curve. Ball's first strikeout. He had Rutledge way off balance on that off-speed pitch. And Luke Mansfield will stand in. Luke is single, struck out. Stranded back in that fourth inning.
One down. Bottom of the sixth inning. The pitch comes in. A pop-up on the infield. Richter calls for it. Trey makes the catch. Two down. Ball right in on the hands of Mansfield. He popped it up. And Jacob Roberts, who got a sacrifice fly and a little just a little dunker in the center field. And a heck of a play by Cade Bowie to come in and make that catch on a diving effort. But it became a sacrifice fly in that fourth and drove in the extra run to make it 3-1 to one at the time. Fastball's high. Bears have had seven hits, and they've taken advantage of their hits. Tigers got three on the six, could not get that run across. Four to one, our score. Pitch comes in, a swing and a miss, one and one. Top of the order next. Salem will have ball, and then the top of the order in the seventh. They'll need at least three. One one pitch, two down here in the bottom of the six, and a foul back, and it's quickly one and two. Salem will be at Thayer on Thursday. Take on the Bobcats. They have three and seven right now. The curveball and a foul back. That's Roberts. Good two strike hitter. He just puts the bat on the ball. May not be driving it anywhere, but he's going to put the bat on the ball and make somebody make a play. He waits. The one-two comes home and a swing and a miss. That's a high fastball. Two strikeouts for Corby Ball. Down in order go the Bears. One, two, three. And the bottom of the sixth inning. We go to seventh. Stewart die time for the Salem Tigers. They're down by three. Four to one. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. So I switched my insurance to State Farm, and get this. I talked to an actual State Farm agent who lives in my actual town, and get this. My actual agent in my actual town gave me actual help with the coverage I needed. And get this. My actual agent in my actual town who gave me actual help actually knows my name. And get this. They actually say it's called service. Insurance with a local agent? It's called service. Call State Farm agent Cameron Irway in Salem today. Have you seen Town Screen yet? It's one of the most affordable ways to get your message out in the community. With strategically placed vertical screens in numerous locations in Salem, check it out at the American Legion Post Number 99, Looking Glass Salon, Salem Senior Center, and McCoy Vision Clinic, just to name a few. Find out more about how you can use Town Screen for everything local. Stop by 800 South Main or call 636-338-1199. Hometown created and maintained Town Screen in Salem. We go to the seventh inning. Corby Ball stand in. He is singled and struck out. One for two in the game. Stand with five hits in the game. Ball has one of them. The pitch comes in. A swing and a miss. As Traver took something off, Corby wee out in front. One and one to count. Next pitch, curve ball. This one grounded toward third. Off Riga, picks it up, throws the first base, and he is out. Riga stuck with it. Ball didn't bounce that far away. And Corby thrown out at first base. One out for Trey Richter. Trey is 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored. Back in the first inning. Reached on an air and popped out. Pitch to Richter, outside corner, first strike. Traver going all the way for the Bears. The 0 1. There's a line drive base hit in the left field. Nice pitch and a better hit. Tried to back door Richter, and Trey stepped right into that one and drilled it between short and third. Good idea. But the batter this time just out Fox, the pitcher. Cade Moody stands in. He's flown out to right, flown out to center, and he's just called out on strikes. He's over three. Pitch, it's a strike. Caden gave up on the ball, came back, cut over the plate. 
Du Bois is next. Tigers need three to tie. Pitch coming to Moody. Here it is. Strike two on the outside corner. Caden checked his swing. Big hole on that right side where Richter is being held on. 0-2 the count. Pitch from Traver. Strike three call. Throw to first base. He's back. Moody called out on strikes again. That's the sixth strikeout. Gain Dubois has thrown out the center three times. Traver Rogan. A uh, Rogan Traver. There you go. One out away from the wind. Throws a fastball to Dubois. Richter staying at first base, leaving that hole over there, but Moody couldn't take advantage of it. Owen Hamilton on deck. The pitch, low and away. Rogan Traver for the Bears. Who lead it four to one, looks in and gets the sign from Kohler. He's ready. The pitch comes on way high. Two and one. Very shallow for Du Bois in left field. Pitch comes in, a foul back off the screen, and it's two and two. One out single by Richter. He's there with two outs at first base. Three run bear lead. Du Bois waits. Pitch to Caden. Fouled it back. Just got a piece. Had to reach for that one a bit. It's been an expediated game. Very quick. Don't forget cards tonight on KSMO 645 pregame show. The pitch. There's a smash. In the deep left center field. That ball has a chance. It is off the fence. Here comes Richter. He will score. And Du Bois will pull up with a double. He didn't miss by much. Maybe about five feet. Four to two. Now the tying run. Owen Hamilton will stand at the plate. He crushed that ball in the left center field. Will Banks went back, and I think he thought it was going to be up against the fence a little farther, and he kind of just kind of reached for it instead of going to the fence. But still a well-hit ball by Du Bois. There's a smash right at the second base, but he gets the big cherry hop, and he throws out Hamilton, and this game has come to an end. Tigers do get a run, but they lose it to the Willow Springs Bears by a final score of 4-2. to two. We'll take uh, – Three-minute break, and let's come back and wrap things up from Willow Springs. Salem loses it by a final score of four to two. We'll come back in three minutes. Your legacy, Tiger baseball. protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. Hi, my name is Michelle Bland. I'm the new family nurse practitioner at SMDH Family Medicine. I will be providing family medical services for all ages. I'm now accepting new patients, so please call 729-8000 to make an appointment. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and all private and other insurances. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. The Bank of Salem is part of the MoneyPass ATM network. MoneyPass has nearly 23,000 ATMs coast to coast, and the network continues to grow. MoneyPass ATM is surcharge free, so you won't worry about paying a fee to access your money. Regardless of where you live, work, or travel, you're sure to find a MoneyPass ATM nearby. 
Just look for the MoneyPass logo and use your existing Bank of Salem ATM or debit card. It's that easy, and it's all part of our commitment to providing you with superb products and services. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Love your car savings going on right now at Napa Auto Parts Store in Salem, where you can save 10% on Napa lawn and garden and marine and RV batteries. Valvoline multi-purpose grease, the one-pound size is $4.99. And Napa antifreeze and coolant ready to use $14.99 for the gallon size. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store at 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem today. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or a new boat, or a new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting, again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. A life event could qualify you for a discount. Call me, Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and we will make sure you have the coverage you need. What's the fastest way for you to get yourself up to date on the latest in news, sports, weather, and obituaries that cost you absolutely nothing? It's Your World Today. Serving Salem and Dent County now for over 20 years, Your World Today is four pages of information that will take you about five minutes to read, and they're available in over 30-plus locations in Salem and in Bunker. Your World Today. Pick one up every weekday. They're free. Here at Willow Springs, the Bears hold on to beat the Salem Tigers four to two. Salem falls to three and eight on the year one and two in the SCA conference, and a well played game. Ball went by pretty. Uh, ball game went by pretty quick. Both uh, teams played pretty rapidly, and and Willow Springs Bears just got through the lineup one time. Everybody got a three times at bat. That's uh, pretty amazing. That's just a total of twenty seven at bats total. For the Bears, but they were able to capitalize and drive in four runs, and they won it four to two over the Salem Tigers. Good job by Rogan Traver. He went seven innings, six hits, two runs, both earned, one walk, six strikeouts. Kane Du Bois pitched well, five innings, seven hits, four runs, one or three of them earned, no walks, four strikeouts. Did hit one man, and uh, kind of came back to haunt them just a little bit. But uh, those are the things that do happen when uh, you get a, just a one inning, and it kind of went bad on Caden. That fourth inning, a one-out double, and then things just kind of fell apart a little bit. And uh, base hit drove in a run, and then a hit-by-pitch, a infield single on a bun, and then a sacrifice fly. And all of a sudden, Salem, it was a 1-1 game, was suddenly 3-1. to But he pitched well. The Corby ball came in, pitched one inning, got two strikeouts. So good pitching by both teams today as the Salem Tigers lose it 4-2. to Trey Richter, one for three in the game, scored twice for the Salem Tigers. Moody, 0 for four. One for four, Caden Dubois with an RBI. Owen Hamilton, two for four with an RBI. Cash Howard, one for three. Hayden Sanders, one for three. Roy Stevens was 0 for three, but he did reach on an error. Blake Edwards, 0 for two. And Wyatt Martin, 0 for one. And Corey Ball, one for three in the game. For Willow Springs, Jace Rogers was 0 for three. He did score a run as he reached on an error. One for three for Ryan Friga. Ryan Kohler, one for three with an RBI and a run scored. Rogan Traver, one for three. And uh, Braxton Wilbanks, he was two for three with an RBI and a run scored. Dustin Lures, one for three with a run scored and an RBI. Uh, Jordan Rutledge was hit by a pitch. He was 0 for two, though. Luke Mansfield, one for three. And Jacob Roberts, he was 0 for two with an RBI and a sacrifice fly. So very ex- as I mentioned, expeditiously played game. Very nicely done. And a time, but unfortunately for Salem Tigers, it was the wrong team winning by final score 4 to 2. We'll come back and tell you how this scoring was done. This one we return in two minutes. This is Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Did you know that Salem Memorial District Hospital Rehab Department is growing and adding services? Hi, I'm Gina Daniels, the Director of Rehab at Salem Memorial Hospital. We have certified therapists that specialize in wound care and lymphedema management. Discuss your rehab needs with your physician and come see us. Let our friendly and caring staff help you get your life back. Call 573-729-6626 to schedule an appointment. We are committed to every patient, every encounter, every time. 
don't have any time to fix anything to eat and you're looking for something to munch on? Well, at Country Mart in Salem, you'll find Glenn's Smokehouse mouth-watering pork steaks, baby back ribs, pulled pork, and so much more. Plus, in a deli, you'll find breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day and your favorite deli meats and cheeses. Country Mart also has a bakery for your pies, cakes, and decorated cakes, donuts, and breads. So stop by Country Mart Highway 3272 East in Salem today. They're here to help you save. Check out these spring specials at KH Auto Supply. You'll find True Fuel Pre Mix Two Cycle Fuel 749, Body Glove Seat Covers for $32.99, No Spill Five Gallon Gas Can for $36.99, and a Carbon XT Lightning Cable Charger for $19.99. KH Auto Supply here in Salem. Park City. Yeah, Park City. Park City. Hi, Carrie Patton here from Town & Country Bank. We've got all the perks of a national bank, like online banking, quick loan approval, and you can even deposit your check from your phone. That's not why our customers love us, though. They love us because we still offer hometown customer service. Stop by one of our area locations and let our friendly team remind you how special hometown banking can be. Smart, friendly solutions. Town & Country Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to Little Springs. The Bears won at 4-2 to two today. Salem got on top at first inning. A walk to Trey Richter, and then a fly out by Caden Moody, and a fly out by Caden Dubois, but then Owen Hamilton doubled to right center. Trey able to come all the way around to make a one to nothing. For the Bears, they tied it up in the first inning. A smash that came, went right to Blake Edwards, hit him right in the chest, came off. He got the ball plenty of time, though, to throw out Rodgers, but threw the ball badly to first base. It skipped past Hamilton, and Jake Rodgers was at second base. A pop-out by Ryan Friga and a ground-out by Ryan Kohler. And a wild pitch put Rodgers then at third base, and he scored on a base hit by Rogan uh, Traver as he got that one in the center field and a tie the game 1-1. It stayed that way until the fourth inning. Went after a strikeout of Rogan Traver. Braxton Wilbanks doubled in the right center. Then Dustin Lewers hit a ground ball right down the third base line. It stayed fair by about a foot, and that drove in Wilbanks with the go-ahead run, made it 2-1. to one. Then Jordan Rutledge stood in and got hit by a pitch on the wrist. Then Luke Mansfield bunting, bunted for a base hit, put a perfect bunt right down the third base line. Du Bois came over, tried to field it, and dropped the ball, but it Mansfield was already at first base. Then Jacob Roberts got what I kind of call the back-breaking run of that inning with just a kind of a check swing fly ball to short center. Good job by Cade Moody to come in and make the diving catch. Unfortunately, it became a sacrifice fly. It made it 3-1 to one before Rodgers uh, hit to third base and a little step on the bag by Edwards retired the sign. Another run scored in the fifth inning for Willow Springs. As Ryan Kohler reached on a base hit, stole second, and then a base hit by Braxton Wilbanks on kind of a check swing to right field, and that brought him in to make it 4-1. to one. The Tigers got a run in the seventh inning after Corby Ball grounded out a base hit by Richter to left field. Booty was called out, and then Caden Dubois hit a deep one off the left center field fence on a one-hopper there, right there just at the base of the fence, and... That drove in Richter for the second time. Uh, Richter came in to score. Made it 4-2, to but Owen Hamilton hit a hard grounder the second to retire the side, and that was the game. 4-2, to two, Willow Springs with him. Salem will be at Thayer this Thursday, 4.30 game time. We'll have that here at KSMO. Salem now 3-8 and eight on the year, 1-2 and two in the SCA. Tomorrow we have on the KSMO media side we'll, and on radio, Salem Tiger Lady Softball. They'll be at the Salem City Park to take on the Licking Lady Wildcats. Five o'clock is start time of that one. We'll be there to bring it to you, 445. And Coach Wilson will be talking to her prior to that game in Tiger Talk. In the meantime, until then, we got Cardinal Baseball coming your way tonight at 645. So stick around for that. It'll be coming your way in just a little bit. But that game tomorrow, again, don't forget, we're giving away those Ron Copeland Stadium blankets, and you'll have a chance to register for that. Three blankets were given away this morning, and, uh, boy, I tell you what, nice blankets, and we've got still more to give away during our KSMO Media broadcast 
So hopefully you're going to be uh, streaming with us tomorrow and take advantage of that. Even if you're listening on the radio, if once you hear the key word, you can call in. You go to our website. I don't call in, but you go to our website, and you can go uh, check that out at ksforadio.com, but you'll need to know the key word. You can go there and look at it right now. You'll see a picture of the bag that holds that stadium blanket, which, by the way, you get as well. Uh, it's going to be up at the right-hand corner of our website, right at the very top right side. Click on that, and you'll see a little form. It's very simple. If you know your name and you know a way to call you, you're in good shape. But unfortunately, today, if you go there, you don't know the code word. And until you know that keyword, it's no good. So be thinking about that tomorrow when the Lady Tigers and the Licking Lady Wildcats battle Salem City Park at 5 o'clock right here on KSMO and on KSMO Media. For Jim back at the station, my name is Stan Stevens. Thank you for joining us for Tiger Baseball on your Monday afternoon. What a great day for baseball, but not the great score. We hope to get Salem lose it by a final score of 4-2. to two. Have yourselves a great evening, and don't forget Cards Baseball coming up all right here on KSMO. Oh, what a night it is going to be, right? You bet your beautiful sunshine, on some clouds out here in Willow Springs. So I hope you have a chance to enjoy the evening as well. And good night from Willow Springs, Missouri. Be listening next time for Salem Tiger Baseball on KSMO. Brought to you by KNH Auto Supply, Town and Country Bank, Salem Memorial Hospital, Salem Memorial Clinic, Farm Bureau Insurance, Country Mart, The Bank of Salem, Napa Mooney Auto Supply, Your World Today, Progressive Ozark Bank, Town Screen LLC, City of Salem, Town and Country Insurance, Tax Masters, Southwest Baptist University Salem Campus, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, Chadwin and Smith Auto Body, State Farm Insurance, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Salem Trust, Cuddy's Well Service and Plumbing LLC, Enrichment Services, Dent County Vet Clinic, Aligned by Design Chiropractic, and Hometown Mechanical.